Hi, my name is Dr. Daniel Choi with North Texas Dental Surgery, and I'll be going over some wisdom teeth post-surgical instructions. Try not to eat or drink immediately when getting home. You want to wait a few hours before eating, and also try to stay with a liquid to soft diet for a few days. You can drink water for medication, but refrain from eating immediately when getting home. Make sure you don't suck through a straw also for a week. Make sure you don't smoke. Smokers are especially prone to dry socket, so they need to be extra careful with all these instructions. Don't spit excessively. Some patients taste blood in their saliva and end up spitting excessively, which can prevent blood clotting. Also, you want to try to avoid foods with little seeds like popcorn seeds, sesame seeds, fruit seeds. If they get caught in the socket, they can sometimes cause infections. In regards to rinsing, we prescribed you chlorhexidine, which is a prescription mouth rinse. It comes in a brown bottle. If you choose to rinse with it, rinse starting the day after the surgery and only rinse for a week because it has a tendency to stain your teeth. We will send you home with an irrigation syringe. Make sure to not irrigate before five days or it can cause dry socket. This is very important. This video shows us irrigating a socket during an extraction. Just make sure to irrigate and then spit. Make sure you do this after every meal. In regards to brushing, you want to brush your teeth like normal. You want to keep bacterial levels low, but stay away from brushing near the extraction sites. In regards to bleeding, we will send you home with an extra pack of gauze. If you have any bleeding, get the gauze a little wet and squeeze out the excess water. Then put a nice pack of gauze back there and bite very hard for 15 minutes. Don't pull it out and keep looking. Make sure to keep consistent pressure by biting hard and that should stop any bleeding. In the extreme rare event that the bleeding does not stop, please contact us immediately. Medications. If you can take ibuprofen, make sure to take the ibuprofen every 6 hours, even if not in pain. It will help you stay ahead of the pain and also the ibuprofen has anti-inflammatory action. We should definitely also give you some ibuprofen before your procedure starts, so make sure that you take some more 6 hours after your procedure. Make sure not to exceed 3200 milligrams of ibuprofen in 24 hours. In regards to the hydrocodone, only take it at least several hours after we send you home when the sedation has clearly worn off. Take your antibiotics and finish those out. In regards to swelling, ice your cheeks all day, 15 minutes on, few minutes off. Ice all day even if you're not in pain. Usually I'll give you a heads up in regards to how much swelling you should expect, but each case is different. Try to sleep with your head elevated the first few nights. Although we're trying to limit swelling, it's totally normal to swell. Some patients swell more than others, and swelling peaks on the third or the fourth day, so please don't be alarmed if you see that. It should start coming down after that time. Please remember that if you have any questions or emergencies, please text us as our phone numbers are on your post-op sheet. Thank you.